All right, see, today we're looking at 17 through 20. Now, I'm going to use the word parallel and perpendicular. Perpendicular, I'm going to abbreviate it as P-E-R-P, -E perpendicular. Parallel are two lines that don't cross. So there will be lines like this. They never cross. Perpendicular, they do cross. They actually cross at a 90 degree angle. When it comes to parallel, in order for two lines to never cross, they have the same, they have the same slope. Now, when it comes to perpendicular, notice how one of them is going up and one of them is going down. So to begin with, they have different signs. But not only that, they have different, uh, we call this negative reciprocal. So the signs are gonna be different and reciprocals. We'll talk about those in a minute. So let's take a look. So let me submit to question number 17. Write the slope intercept form of the equation of the line described. So I'm gonna give you, for today's homework, I'm gonna give you one point. So I want this line that I'm gonna give you, I want it to go through this point and I want it to be parallel to y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1. Basically, what I'm saying is I want you guys to have the same slope, the line to have the same slope. Now, this is what we're going to do. Let me label my point. My point, I'm going to call this x1, y1, which is x of the first point, y of the first point. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, the equation I'm going to use is y minus y1. So y minus the y value equals, then I'm gonna have the m for the slope, and then inside parentheses, let me have x minus x1. So let me replace my values that I know. I'm gonna have this as y minus four is equal to negative three over two, and then here I'm gonna have, inside parentheses, I'm gonna have x minus a negative four. All right, first of all, let me get rid of parentheses. On the left side, I just have y minus four. So not a big deal. On the right side, let me distribute the negative three over two. So that's gonna give me negative three over two x. Now, inside parentheses, I see minus a minus. So that basically becomes plus. So I have to multiply negative 3 over 2 times 4. Let me write this here at the side. Negative 3 over 2 times 4. Now, interesting part is when I have a fraction, I multiply with the number on the top and I divide with the number at the bottom. So when I have a whole number in a fraction, multiply with the top and divide at the bottom. Which one do you do first? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna divide first. So first of all, let me not forget, there's gonna be a minus sign because negative. I'm gonna do four divided by two times the number on top. So four divided by two is two times three is six. Okay, we're almost there. For the slope intercept form, I need the y by itself. And I need a, I see a minus four there. So I'm gonna move the minus four as a plus four to this other side. Don't forget to switch the side. So my answer will be y equals a negative three over two x minus two. Notice I combine these like terms at the end, negative six plus four. So my answer is y equals negative three over two x minus two. It has the same slope. Don't forget that for the fraction, we do three backslash two. All right, let's take a look at number 18. Let me call my point x1, y1. So I'm just going to go, remember the formula I just gave you guys, y minus y1 is equal to m, and then we have x minus x1. Let me replace the values that I know. 
y minus a negative 5 equals, because parallel, I want the same slope. So my slope is going to be 1 over 4. And inside parentheses, I have x minus a negative 4. OK. The left side, I can simplify that as a y plus 5. Right, minus a negative, y plus 5. Let me distribute. 1 over 4x plus, because a positive times positive will give me a positive, 1 over 4 times 4. Let me write that here at the side. 1 over 4 times 4. The whole number, the number I have inside parentheses, I have to multiply to the top and divide with the bottom. It doesn't matter which one you do first. I'm going to get a 1, right? Whether you multiply it, so 4 times 1 divided by 4, or you divide first. 4 divided by 4 times 1. Now, to all, I'm almost there. This plus 5, let me move it over as a minus 5. So that gives me y equals 1 over 4x minus 4. All together. When you type this in, it's all together. Don't, don't. Don't put any spaces all together. Now let's take a look at question number 19. The slope that I need for to begin with right now, it's a negative 2 over 1. I need it as a fraction. I need to see it as a fraction to begin with. So it's a negative 2 over 1. The slope that I need for perpendicular line, I'm going to need the slope positive 1 over 2. Two things that I did. I switched the sign. So it was negative, so I wrote it as positive, And then reciprocal, I flipped my fraction. 2 over 1, I flipped it as 1 over 2. So when it comes to perpendicular, two things you need to do to the slope. Change the sign and reciprocal. All right. The formula we were using is going to be the same thing. So it's going to be y minus 2, because remember y minus y1 equals 1 half for the slope. Inside parentheses, I have x minus 4. Notice I'm subtracting the y's, so y minus 2, the y values. Inside parentheses, I'm subtracting the x's, x minus 4. OK, so let's get rid of parentheses. The left side is y minus 2. When I do here on the right side, 1 half times x is 1 half x. I know positive times the negative is going to give me negative. 1 half times 4, you can do it at the side. I'm going to multiply with the top, divide with the bottom. That gives me 2. OK, so to get the y by itself, this minus 2. Let me move it over as a plus 2. So I'm going to get y equals 1 half x. And then I'm not going to write plus here, just 1 half x. Remember, for the fraction, you're using the backslash on your keyboard, the one at the bottom right. All right, let's take a look at question number 20. The slope that I need is a negative 1 over 5. Because remember, I saw my, my slope as a fraction. Change the sign and then reciprocal. So the way I'm going to work this, let me go y minus 2 is equal to negative 1 fifth inside parentheses x minus a negative 5. Let me just change the minus a negative. Let me just write it as a plus. So I have y minus 2. It's equal to negative one fifth x. And I know negative times a positive is negative. One fifth times five. Remember, multiply with the top, divide with the bottom. That gives me one. Now to finish this, to get the y by itself, this minus two, let me move it over as a plus two. So it's gonna give me y equals a negative one over five x plus one. Again, all together, no spaces, 
or fractions, use the backslash on your keyboard. 